All right, in this video, this is question number eight. How to calculate the housing expense ratio and the total obligation ratio. Hey, welcome back, folks. Welcome back. We have a question here. This is an FHA question. And they're going to ask a question. They're, they're looking for a ratio. Uh, there's a couple ratios here that we, uh, we need to know how to do. Uh, so one of them is the housing expense ratio, and the other is the total obligation ratio. Now, in the questions, they actually give you everything you know to figure these out. So let's break this down. It says here, an FHA buyer is requesting a $1,500 monthly total housing expense payment. Okay, so we got housing expense up there. And then it says their total obligations are $2,000 a month. Total obligation is $2,000 a month. Then it says their total gross monthly income is $5,000 a month. It says what, is, uh, what are the uh, housing expense ratio and total obligation ratio. Now, you can rest assured, folks, whenever they're asking for a ratio on something, you're going to do a division. You just got to make sure you divide the right numbers. All right. So the first one I'm going to get is the HE. So if you look at the answers there on the test, it says HE, 30%, TO, or that they'll give you total obligation housing expense ratios. So first thing we're going to do, let's do the housing expense first. So the housing expense is 1500 bucks. And we're going to divide that by the income. That's going to give us a ratio. And the income, so this is the housing expense, 1500 The income is 5000 So far, so good, right? So divide that, 1500 by 5000 and that gives you 0.30. All right, so so far we're doing pretty good because in the answers, if you're looking at your test and, and, and going along with that, you'll see that two of them have 30%, HE 30%, but now you got to figure out the total obligation. So the TOR, total obligation ratio, super simple, folks. Keep it simple. Don't overthink this stuff. Take that 2,000 and you're going to divide that by the income. 2,000 divided by 5,000, that's going to give us our TOR, and that is 0 0.40. So the HE, housing expense, is 0.3, and the TO is 0.40, just like that. So that is how you figure out the total obligation ratio and the housing expense ratio. Just remember, folks, keep it simple. The questions will tell you it's a housing expense. You take the housing expense, divide by the income. They ask you for a total obligation ratio. They will give you the total obligation. It says, it says it right in the question. Divide that by the income, and that will give you your total obligation ratio. Now, some people used to remember that debt to income, but we don't call it that. We don't call it that in real estate. We call it a total obligation ratio or housing expense ratio. But the nice thing is they will tell you in the question what they want. All right. So listen, keep it simple out there, folks. Don't overthink this stuff. This is Uncle Bill, straight from the Climber School of Real Estate in Orlando, Florida. And good luck. Listen, don't let these questions, these math questions, scare you on the test. They're really not that hard. You got multiply, subtract, divide, and add. That's really the four things that you do on these. You just got to know where the numbers go. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure that you like this video down in the corner and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And you guys have a great night, and we'll talk to you again soon.